Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die again. <laughs> there you go, Teddy. Of course, you are going to die. Hi, guys. My name is Sergio. Hi, I'm Chava. <laughs> we are Men of Culture. Men of Dancing. Anyways, I don't know why we're dancing, but what we, what exactly are we going to watch today? We're going to watch Westworld. <laughs> you seem very animated today. Yeah, it's because it's my favorite. We were very... <laughs> Cough, cough. Sorry, I'm sick. Okay, he's sick. He's uh, very sick. Like He's been sick. sick. I'm dying. And this man is here next to me. And I hope I don't get sick. He's about to die, too. Uh, he has, like, I don't know, ligma? Like, oh, yeah, he told me the last week that I have. He has ligma. ligma. I don't know if you guys know about this terrible disease. It's a terrible disease. Do you know about ligma? Yeah. It's very ter- it's terrible. It's terrible disease. It's up on my brain. Yeah, he, he suffers from ligma, so... Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't die. I, I, I need a, I need a, I, I don't want to lose my best friend to Ligma in particular. It would be horrible. I, I don't want to, I don't want to put in your stone. Don't no. Google it. Don't Google it. Don't Google Ligma. Don't Google Ligma. It's, it's hor- hor- horrible, horrible thing. Horrible thing. Anyways, anyways, I, we are happy now because we are going to watch Westworld, one of my favorite series of the ones that I've been showing you. I guess. Yeah, but I could have discovered that. He never discovered it. It wasn't until I told him. I mean, there's already a second season. It has already over, and you, you didn't even know. So, it's yeah, thanks to me. It's more like, it's more, it's not, it's up to me. It's more like, oh yeah, it would be something that you would find, yeah, it's on your own find, instead of anime that instead of many enemies or yeah, yeah, Jojo, Jojo, Jojo is cool. Jojo is pretty cool. Okay, um, what can I say? Episode three of. Uh, Westworld, um, do you have any expectancies of this? Do you remember the last thing that happened in the last episode? I don't have. Do you remember that? I don't have any expectancies of this. Do you have any expectancies know. of this I just, made a, 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 I just made a theory or I tried to put something that is going to happen and suddenly it changed. For example, the last episode I thought, I said, oh, maybe Dolores is going to spread the war. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she spread, spread the, the war. war. I she wanted, did. She did. But I wanted to... I wanted I wanted Dolores to spread the word uh, to Teddy to Teddy, you, to Teddy yeah said, the yeah. one who is killing every day and Teddy is just like Kenny from South Park <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's always that <dying. laughs> yeah, yeah 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 he's always dying uh, do, do you remember that we made the bet that he was going to die in this episode too <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe he's going to die in this episode as well <laughs> we we are going to have to see yeah we <laughs> is he going to die or not make your bet. <laughs> Anyways, anything else? No. Nothing else? There's nothing else. Matters. I remember I remember that this guy. The yes. ro- the Robocop looked like the, the Robocop act, Robocop ah. actor. Let me let me tell you something before we proceed. I went and investigated whether or not that guy was a Robocop actor. And it was not. I was terribly, terribly hurt. By you lying to me. I truly believed in you. It was like Robocop. Yeah, he's Robocop. I was like kind of a... Uh, he's not Robocop? He's not Robocop. <laughs> but don't worry. Actually, a lot of people think that he looks like Robocop. He looks like Robocop. Yeah, I was like, is the actor Robocop? I believe his name is Ed Harris. And he's not Robocop. But there's a lot of people asking like online, is he a Robocop? He looks like Robocop. He looks like Robocop. Yeah, like, he's yeah, Robocop he to me. Okay, he's, he's, Robocop, he's going to be Robocop for us. Heart. In our heart, in our heart, no in our heart. heart he's, Robocop. he's Robocop. He's a still Robocop. Anyways, okay, you were saying? Well, you know, Robocop, he, he, was, he, he used to be a former police. He's a former police that was shooted. And then... <laughs> is this Westworld or Robocop? <laughs> no, no, this is I don't remember. <laughs> this is Robocop. Okay. <laughs> this is Robocop, okay. Okay, okay, this is Robocop. Fine, I, I didn't know. I thought we were doing Westworld. <laughs> no, well, oh well, the the, the character, okay. I, don't, I don't know her his name, but um, they he, haven't said him. He dance, he he dance, he discovered what well, he confirmed that it that uh, there is a maze. Ah, uh, yeah, he confirmed that there was a maze. There was a maze, and he is after it. Yeah, the next level layer of the game is yeah, he, he's he's to the next. He is going to the next level, and so, maybe maybe maybe. Maybe we're going to watch Teddy die again. Die again. Oh, Dolores! 
Yeah, what happens? She found a weapon. Ah, a re- a, what you well, thought to be a we real weapon. It was a real weapon. Yeah, it could be a real weapon. Yeah. What else would, I, would a revolver be there? Like in the middle of nowhere? Near her, near her house, basically? Yeah. And getting out of the loop, right? Because she was not supposed to get out of bed at that time. Yeah, she's getting out of the loop constantly. Uh, yeah, she's kind of free now. The other, the other girl, this one. Maeve. Maeve, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> coming back to this, um, you say that you don't have any particular expectancies, expectations rather, of this, uh, expectations. of this episode because you have been so wrong, I guess, in the past. So you would rather watch what exactly is going on, right? Yeah, I'd rather watch what exactly is going on. Okay, I don't quite remember what happens in this episode, so I guess it's going to be a good refresher, because this in particular I don't remember. But yeah, in any case, um, we're going to get to watch the episode. Um, Hopefully something very interesting happens this time around, and uh, I guess that I hope you are surprised. Start the video, please. (laughs) Okay, okay, watching um, Westworld episode. (laughs) Are you alright? Oh god. He's going to die very soon, I'm sorry. Ligma. Ligma? I was right, he has Ligma. <laughs> Watching Westwood in one, two, three. Neil Marshall. Dolores! The real. Dolores. I brought you a gift. Like, there's no gift for you. There's no ever. My friendship is. <laughs> my friendship is all the gift that you need. Come, no, I'm dying. <laughs> You're going to die. It's like the other friends. She, she have read another book. It's about Shane. That's actually interesting. Is he basically helping her get out of the loop or what? What? Where is he now? Nowhere. He has a son, I guess. How does she know he has a son? A son. A son. A son. A son. <laughs> may he told her. May, may he told her in the past. Analysis. Analysis. Okay. Ask me about my son. Okay. Wow. Wow, she's evolving. Analysis. Why are we watching Westworld? Because I thought it was a good idea. Okay, continue, Angie. (laughs) Who in the world am I? Man, she's going to explode. Don't ask her that. This is very symbolic. She's waking up, right? Yeah. Like she's waking up to her reality, basically. Or rather, out of her reality, to her into a new reality. one. She found the gun. Then she remembered that. Now break the loop. Break your limits, Kakarot. Kakarot. <laughs> break the limit. So this weapon is helping her, like, break out of the loop. <laughs> the dick in the eye. This guy keeps looking so uncomfortable. Like, out of place. But yeah, you say that people like that are are usually the worst. What is going on? Some random event? So is this in our house? I hope it is. What? Oh, whoa. If he's in our house, he's dead. He wasn't, I guess. There's too much. Oh, sand. There's too much. Uh, this guy is uh, yeah, allergic to <laughs> the environment, <laughs> so it's kind of hard for him, I guess. I think this is a little bit more of symbolism. He's starting to um, accept the world. Like in the previous episodes, he was like, I don't want to do anything with this. And now he interacts with it. Yeah. At least he's beginning to interact with it by himself. Arnold. Who's Arnold? Yeah. Six hosts. He lets the other three go. I pulled the narrative bars in which they killed Walter. Oh. It's like he was holding. Maybe he's holding a grudge, exactly. I like the voice of that guy. <laughs> Very badass. Yeah. Oh, they're steady. Yeah, they're steady. He's, he's ready, ready to die. He might die, he in, might this, die. in this episode as well. <laughs> I'm being dead. Teddy's alive! Yeah, Teddy's alive actually! Oh, you're trolls. Ah, right, he saw her the last time. Oh, he did that in the first episode. The part of, Yeah, yeah, his look. Chivalrous. <laughs> like we. Like us. Like like that's ass. right, that's right. Like us. Man of culture. Chivalrous. Chivalrous man of culture. I stay ready with you, Alan. 
No, I wouldn't. In the middle of nowhere. No saying? thanks. I need me some Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> but we will never go. Someday, someday, someday yeah. never. Come on, you. Uh, she's right into it. Like someday. What do you mean someday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they mean never. Man, this is so romantic. <laughs> it's gonna. <laughs> Are you crying already? Yeah, I'm crying. Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die again. <laughs> there you go, Teddy. Of course, you are going to die. I guess uh, Anthony is confirming that he's dead. You died like a thousand times. Oh, they kill Kenny again. No, you won't. You will never. You never will. What, what is he trying to do? What is he trying to do? I don't know. Is he trying to break Teddy? Is he trying to break Teddy? That could be the case right now, actually. Or maybe he's testing Teddy. To see if he will break? Yeah. Ah, it's... Uh, Trevor Phillips! Rebus? Trevor? Teddy, for the thousand and one death. Try it. You might get the draw on me, you might not. But I'd say you're all thinking good. It would be hard for me to take that seriously if I am a guest. I would be like, well, I can just kill you, you're not going to be able to do anything. I would be a little bit like Roko, like, okay, thank you and everything. What is he doing now? Teaching her how to... This will break all the look of Dolores. When she knows how to control uh, the, the gun... The gun? She will be able to... Use the gun that she... Use the gun that she has. I can't. Why she can't? She's not... Pro pro yeah, pro she's not programmed for to do that, I guess. Is he going to die twice in the same episode? Oh man, this is so romantic. Everything is romantic for you when they start kissing each other. Yeah. <laughs> especially the boys. Those two? Those two. The people being like... Uh, <laughs> Zombies! <laughs> oh, he's a zombie! Oh, you were no. right! <laughs> it's just... It's scary. Why is this host covered? Perhaps you didn't want him to feel cold. Or shaved. You want to cover his mother's <laughs> that is very interesting. It doesn't get cold. It doesn't feel ashamed. Like it. it doesn't feel a solitary thing. Oh man! He's right. These things just look human. They are not human. And I guess a lot of people would be like confused. Like they wouldn't be able to tell because of their empathy, basically. Talking to the same imaginary person. Arnold. Yeah, Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> Of course you wouldn't want that. They, they would take action for themselves and hurt actual people. Yeah, what happened here? He died. I guess he died here in the park. Is Vor actually in favor of them gaining consciousness or not right now? What do you think? I don't know. Just don't forget. Because he's looking right now like he's not. He's not yet. Oh, maybe. He what? He had. He had a child. And uh, maybe she died. Yeah, I know. I don't know, man. Damn. This is so hard. I know. Imagine losing one song. Maybe not your child, but your, yeah. but your dogs. <laughs> My dogs. Come on, Danny. No, Danny's going to die. He's Danny, always going Danny's to die. Danny's about to die. What? Okay, Danny, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're going to die again. Whoa. This is messing up with, Stop. with the host. Yeah, especially with Dolores. Bernard, in particular, Bernard. seems to be like pushing for this uh, um, consciousness. Consciousness, yeah. Okay. Freedom! Freedom! He's happy about it. Like, he's fascinated, I guess. Evolution, I told you! Yeah, they are evolving. I am uncertain now. I, I, I didn't quite remember just how uh, invested Bernard was into helping the break of the loop, I guess. Yeah, I didn't expect that Bernard was I I, I thought he was actually Ford. Yeah, I kind of remember Ford being more into like, yeah, I want to wake him up. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Damn. Way here, yeah. Brits. Why don't we acquaint ourselves to Lord? Kill him! 
Okay, she should because she remembered Robocop, right? Not because it was him. Why don't you look at the stars? stars? Is this a zombie movie? All blood in here? A real stone. What? Did he want to destroy his own, his own uh, data? Did we, did we, after the data of that guy? So maybe the data is in the head and he was trying to destroy his own data, maybe. And the Lord is on this guy, these guys. Well, in this kind of things, there, is, there isn't really any kind of uh, after credit scene. So, I guess we can get down with some discussion. What do you think about this episode? It was really cool. Now we discovered that it wasn't Ford that was messing with the, like, with the house. Yeah, yeah, it was Bernard. It was Bernard. And Ford explained us about the consciousness. About his other, uh, his other partner, partner that was partner. erased. I told you that maybe he, wants, he wanted to develop the consciousness of, her, of his host. Yeah. But it was Arnold instead of Ford. Yeah, that's right. Mm, yeah. And Ford saw it as a mistake. Arnold, like trying to search for consciousness. Yeah, trying to search for consciousness. So deep. Yes. It's very deep, it's very deep, very deep. Okay, um, what do you think about Teddy dying to <laughs> about the very, about the very actually paying off and like Teddy dying not only once but twice? Twice. Like this guy is really, really becoming Kenny. Yeah, it's like the average. I mean... Yeah, would you say that the average is like 1.7, 1.5? That's per episode? Yes, per episode. Because last time, like, episode 2 was only one, once. And episode 1 was like twice. And now again it's like twice, so twice. Yeah, he, he he's dying a lot. He's dying a lot. His destiny is to die. That was exactly what uh, Anthony said. Yeah. So I guess uh, it is safe to bet that he's going to that next episode as well. <laughs> he might as well die. Lawrence is breaking the loop again. Yeah, she's breaking like way past uh, what was previously her limits. Now she was able to shoot. Like we had, we saw that particular uh, scene when she's. Teddy's trying to tell her, teach her rather, how to shoot the gun. Yeah. And she's like, being able to. And also, we remember that she wasn't programmed to shoot harm. He didn't think. Ah, yeah, yeah, the, the whole fly thing. When she yeah. was like, and she actually killed, killed another host. Yeah, she, she killed was... another host. But she remembered Robocop before that happened. She was having trouble, and then she remembered Robocop, and she then was able to shoot. Yeah. Do you think that has any meaning? Like why was she, why do you think why exactly do you think she was able to shoot once she began to remember uh, Robocop instead of the other half? Because she wanted she wanted what shoot she Robocop. Wanted to shoot Robocop. Why do you think she has something against Robocop? Maybe it was just a memory. It was okay. a memory, and she was uh, remembered remembering that when Robocop uh, when when this guy Robocop or her. And he, and as she evolved, she evolved, she, well, maybe, we don't, we don't know if it, what, we know that they are not humans. Yes. So maybe she, she feels, she feels something. Something? What do you mean exactly by something? Yeah, she, she had a feeling. Okay, you think she's developing actual feelings? Actual feelings, yeah. So you would say that she felt, um, she felt, I don't know, really. Some sense of revenge, some sense of yeah, self defense. She, Once she was. She felt some sense of self defense. Remembering uh, Robocop? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then was she, that was the reason why she was able to shoot, in your opinion. Yeah, that was the reason. That was the reason. Okay, that's very interesting because has Robocop been, in your opinion, do you think that Robocop has been hurting Dolores in particular? For a long time, maybe? I don't know if for a long time, but. Maybe for that that special occasion. Okay, maybe it's not that he has been targeting Dolores, but rather that that particular uh, time that Dolores was like hurt by Robocop was very traumatizing, traumatizing for her. Traumatizing and for maybe, her, yeah. maybe that's the reason why she remembered that particular one and then uh, prompted her to actually shoot. Yeah, as we remember, everything that Robocop touch, touches touches it, it becomes glitched. 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 Yeah. 
he was he's looking after the maze after all, so she's having a greater impact yeah. than other guests yeah. on the place. Yes. Yeah, that, that's a very really good that's a very really good good hypothesis, I guess. Um, what else happened in this episode? Um, we didn't really see a lot of need, just a little bit of a, uh, I guess, recapitulation because she sees Teddy again, and then she remembers that she has a flashback when she sees uh, Teddy like dead, right? Like being like cleaned, I guess, from all the blood that he had, and uh, that was it. That was pretty much everything for me, but, and. Then we have a little bit more of uh, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor Brown, or what's his name? Um, Rebus. Rebus, yeah. Rebus is the name of the character right here. Rebus. Yeah, um, and the girl that was about to get smashed with a real rock was like saying, okay, this other guy, the, the one that killed him in that loop that killed through the Trevor, uh, was like talking to someone, right? Yeah, he was Which, talking to Arnold. Uh -huh. Then we figure out that it is Arnold. So, what do you think about this? What do you think was the relevance of this guy, Arnold, in particular? I think that we saw already. We have saw this already. Okay. With, with Bernard talking with Dol Dol uh, Dolores. With Bernard talking with Dolores. Right. And uh, maybe Arnold. Uh, maybe Arnold was talking to her old Dolores host. Oh, with other with host. With other host. Host. Yeah, not her uh, okay. Dolores. And the host uh, remembered that conversation, and that's why okay, they're talking okay. about So your hypothesis is that some of the hosts that have been breaking up are uh, hosts with, with which Arnold had conversations in the past. Yeah. And just like uh, Bernard is breaking Dolores, Arnold was breaking these uh, particular, particular hosts. Yeah. And that's why they are talking like to no one. Yeah, to this particular uh, person named Arnold. Now, what do you think Arnold was uh, deleted as uh, formation? Like he was basically deleted from the pictures and everything. Because he has a, he had a, a tragic death. A tragic death. A tragic death. And maybe that, was, that could hurt the image of the, the whole place. Well, the I guess that makes place. a lot of sense. If you have like a very tragic uh, incident in your, in your park, that is kind of bad PR for your yeah, your own park. Yeah, the one that you yeah, you're supposed to be. Uh, Marketing this place as like some kind of paradise in which you cannot be hurt by the by the hosts, and then it turns out that one of the founders got killed. got killed. They didn't really say whether or not he was killed by one of the hosts or not. But they said that he, he, he died was, there. yeah, that he died in there. Yeah. So, however you look at it, it's kind of bad PR. Like it makes sense from a business perspective. To actually get rid of this information, no, no one died in this place. Everything is fine. You can come here and have a lot of fun again. And when we did see that some of the first consciousness attempts were by him, so maybe Ford. Now that we know he was not, he's not necessarily interested in waking up his creations. Um, maybe he wasn't so much of a fan of the idea. Maybe he's interested in giving them freedom in a different way. A different way or control them yeah maybe control them maybe i don't know it's a little bit it's a little bit confusing because on the previous episodes he was more interested in giving a chance to his child that was kind of the uh, impression that was giving us that he was giving us so uh, now that he is more like they are just machines machines like while well, cutting the guy right they're just machines they're not human they, they don't understand they are basically uh just objects yeah like, what are you trying to do by keeping his dignity, right? So, maybe he's not so interested in that kind of sort of stuff. Maybe his idea of freedom is different. I wonder what that is. Okay, so what do you think about this other guy? The, the one that the, in the first episodes was like, I don't really want to be uh, related to this place. Like, I don't want to really interact that much. And now, in this episode, he ends up actually shooting and interacting a little bit more like getting more interested in the whole West world what he was not interested in the previous uh, episodes he was very reluctant what do you think about it well this guy this guy this guy might might be sharing the idea that these things or this the hosts are humans so he doesn't want he doesn't want to to get involved with them. You think he feels uncomfortable? He feels uncomfortable, yeah. Okay. He knows that they are not human, but they, he feels like, oh, they 
looks like human. Yeah, they look human, 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 human and everything. So he, he, he has strong troubles here. Yeah. Yeah. Accepting the whole place. Now, Accepting I guess. Yeah. yeah. Do you think something in particular about the fact that Dolores ended up coming to him, basically? I mean, he's going to help Dolores to break him, <laughs> breaking up more, the loop, breaking the loop more, even more. Okay, you think <laughs> this guy is going to end up helping Dolores break out of the loop without trying to? Yeah, we're trying to... Like, it's going to be like an accident. Like an accident, yeah. Well, that would make sense, because this guy in particular is, I guess, taking a very different approach when every single other one of the guests. Yeah. Like, everyone comes up with the addition of, well, I'm going to just mess around. Like, kill, uh, uh, do everything, basically. Yeah, and this guy is very reluctant to do, well, basically everything that everybody, everybody else is doing. So, maybe this guy has a different effect on the world. One that we... That one that will make her actually uh, well wake up for, for real this time because she's still having trouble, she's still in the loop yeah. but she's breaking and breaking every every single time a little bit further it could be a possibility it could be a possibility, yeah yeah, we haven't seen Robocop yeah, we didn't see Robocop in this episode at all yeah, the story of well, just in the it was like a flashback. Movie, a flashback yeah, yeah, just in the very small flashback but there wasn't any rock of this time around. Aren't you disappointed about that? About that? Yeah, kind okay, of. No. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool, right? I think he's pretty cool. Like the whole um, black. I think they call him the man in black. The man in black. The man in black. <laughs> the man in black. <laughs> yeah, I think people in general call him man in black. The man in black. The man in black. Okay. I like rock up. <laughs> yeah, I like rock up. Uh, it was kind of a funny way for you to call it. Yeah. Even though he's not actually Robocop. <laughs> that is a little bit disappointing, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, no, maybe next episode is going to be a little bit, a little bit more um, concentrated or focused in Robocop. That could be the case. So maybe we're going to need to find out. So yeah, is there anything else that you want to uh, add before we end the video? No, I'm moving. Are you moving? Yeah. Moving a lot? A lot. Like... Out of your loop? Out of my loop. Analysis. Yeah. Tell me, um, do you remember our last conversation? No, I don't. Well, you better don't. I say a lot of embarrassing stuff, so delete every single one of the files. All five deleted. Continue. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, we well. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Nothing is happening. Whoa. Everything is happy. I have a bad dream. You had a bad dream? What yeah. was it about? That I was making videos. Making videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, front of a, in front of a camera, <laughs> watching some series. And you were embarrassed or what? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? I can't remember. It was a dream. It was a dream. Dreams can be remembered at all. Sometimes you can remember dreams. Maybe. Maybe you break out of your loop. <laughs> to take a gun and kill me. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I got better. I got better kill. I got better ways to kill. You have better ways to kill instead of a gun. I don't know what you mean by better ways to kill. <coughs> are you trying to say you're going to? No, oh, we're recording now. Ah, do you mean you're going to do it when I? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> you're the one supposed to you not know, come back the next week because you're going to die because of your flu or whatever. <laughs> ah, you have ligma. Yeah, I have a So you're not coming back next week, but I am, so I cannot die. Who says so? I am not the protagonist. No, you're not the protagonist, you're in the loop. <laughs> Analysis. <laughs> Analysis. <laughs> yeah, that's right, okay. Change language. English. <laughs> Activate. Uh, what, were we doing? Uh, what were we doing? I had a bad dream. Oh yeah, you have a <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had a very bad dream. Uh, what happened? I don't remember. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, maybe you were doing some embarrassing things. Embarrassing? Embarrassing? Embarrassing thing. What kind of embarrassing yeah. thing? In front of the camera. For the camera? For the camera, maybe. What? Maybe you were acting like a robot. Like a robot? Yep. Why would I do that? I am not a robot. I am a person. If you say so. If I say that. <laughs> I think that will be everything for now, uh, guys. Uh, we will be seeing you next time, and thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See ya. Disconnected. Disconnected. <laughs> <laughs>